is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE action figure. I, I want to say it's surgery, to be honest with you guys. I ran through the through the mill. I had everything set up for surgery. The ambulance is even back here. I even had uh, the thumbnail laid out, and then at the end of the day, I started recollecting my thoughts, and I was like, you know what, Brad? Is this enough? Is this enough to do a surgery episode? I feel like it honestly is, but you guys know I don't I don't make the football rules. I just, I just deal with them. So, today we have Elite Series 83 feature. We got Edge, we got Trash Corbin, we got Shorty G slash Chad Gable, and today we got some epic fix-ups that I want to do to the Elite 83 Edge, to the Trash Corbin, to the Chad Gable. That's what we do on appointment on surgery. So I changed it to an appointment episode simply because even though we have like a torso crack, we have freaking pain on this episode. This should absolutely be a surgery video. And honestly, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I really want to change it, but then I was like, you know what? Why is it this is surgery? I don't know. Are less people going to watch because they think it's an appointment? You're lost, Brad, because I think we got some fire stuff coming in. But Elite 83, you guys know we would have done like a full surgery video. Usually we get the full wave in here and then we do a surgery on the Elite series that we got because we need to fix some things about the wave. That's what we do here. So the things that I was running over in my mind is Trash Corbin can be fixed up. Edge can be fixed up. Who else is in the wave? Drew McIntyre. Can't really fix him up. I think he looks damn good. I like the, what he's got going on. I think it's a really good figure. Sasha Banks. Really nothing I can fix up about her. Nothing Nothing's really standing out to me or anything like that. And then you have Dusty Rhodes, who, again, just nothing really fix up about, fix up about him, you know? You get it? So, really, I'm just sitting here. I may change the name of the thing to surgery. I don't know. We'll, we'll just see. It's a lot of garbage. I, I don't freaking know, man. We're just going to see how this goes. If it, So, if you see the thumbnail and it ends up looking like a, like a freaking surgery thumbnail and it ends up changing to this, just know that my mind was all kinds of mixed and wacky and there goes Trash Corbin. But let's just shut the hell up and dive into it because appointment it's supposed to be 12 minutes or less. I doubt we get that because I've already been yapping for freaking two minutes. But let's shut the hell up and dive in, guys. Before we get into things, I want to give a huge shout out to my man, Ryan. There's three different ways you can pronounce his name. It's either Belisle, Belisle, or Belisle. And he hooked me up with this sick-ass Shorty G head sculpt for no reason. I pretty much, uh, he had this, li he had like these things listed on Facebook of some parts I needed, like some neck pegs and some torso pieces for torso cracks and stuff. And I really wanted it, so I contacted him about it. He said he didn't know what the price is. So he just shipped it to me. Didn't have to do that. I would have easily paid for him, but he's a standout guy. He's a baller. So he sent me not only the stuff that I wanted, but also the Shorty G head sculpt as well as a Nikki Spirit Squad head sculpt that's over there somewhere. I'll have to go find it. But a huge shout out to Ryan, man. Thank you so very much for that. He said he was a big fan of the channel. So a huge shout out to you, bro. You helped me out more than you will ever know. And uh, I really appreciate it. So what we're going to do today, guys, is do the fix up where we switch out the Chad Gable head sculpt for this. I think it's going to be really sick. You guys know we did torso swap this a few weeks back, I do believe, or something like that. I also want to apologize for the no upload yesterday. I wanted to take a for, uh, a day off and just kind of relax my mind after trying to get the, you know, the show up and the stress of that, so I do apologize for that, but I wanted to get that in there, so spent some family time, got to chill out a little bit, but here we are today, guys, back at it. You gotta, you gotta know we're back at it here. Next up, guys, is Trash Corbin. We have Trash Corbin, right? We have the new Elite 83. His height's not right, anything like that, but to me, that doesn't really football matter to Today, we're taking this Trash Corbin and we're putting this bald head sculpt and crown over onto our Trash Corbin figure to update our trash. You guys know Fix Skip made this because I accidentally threw mine away like a dumb jackass. I guess that one had it coming after all these years. I got hooked up with another one of those, so I figured go ahead, put the bald Trash King head sculpt over here and fix that guy up. So we will be doing that. And then last but not least, guys, we are getting into the big daddy of them all. We're going to fix up our Elite 83 Edge. Now, there are some things about this figure that we are already know, right? I mean, there's there's some pretty good inaccuracies about it. Love the head sculpt. I think this was the best figure in Elite 83. However, the torso's too small, Brad. I mean, Edge was completely ripped up. We gotta fix this, right? We gotta get this guy back in the gym, and we gotta fix him up. Also, his hand's not accurate. Also, his elbow pads aren't accurate. Also, his shoes aren't accurate. So, we're gonna have to do the full gear. We're gonna have to do the black circles on the elbow pads. We're gonna have to put the right black hand tape or wrist tape onto the right hand. We're also gonna gonna have to paint the shoes in the chrome color. I was really hoping that the figure would include the chrome shoes. They didn't. We're gonna have to add it ourselves. And last but not least, we're gonna be putting this Elite 23 Cesaro torso on here to give him the ripped up torso with the chest hair and the stomach hair in the right skin tone. So I think it's gonna work out. I already pre-planned it. I made this head sculpt interchangeable. Need to do a tutorial on that. But I made this head sculpt interchangeable. Made sure that this neck peg would look good on this and you know this head sculpt would fit 
fit this this torso correct and everything and I think it's going to turn out pretty damn fire so what we're going to do is go ahead and crack this torso get all this stuff going the more I sit here in the talk the more I'm sitting here thinking this should be surgery so it may end up being surgery but anyways guys let's shut the hell up and dive in to our action figure appointment surgery football video all right guys so what we're going to do first here is we are going to be doing our head swaps for our Chad Gable and our trash so what you want to do first before we get into things is we are going to remove the crown again we don't want to meld the damn crown to the head sculpt even though it won't come off that often I don't want to ruin that nice piece that Mattel made for us there so I'm going to put this here this right here and hopefully this works out good on top of that we do have to heat up the trash Corbin head sculpt so I'm going to put this here and just kind of stack this make sure the beam of the heat gets all on there and then the last thing we need to do is we need to put the shorty G slash Chad Gable head sculpt on here and get that to where it will get sufficient heat so that way I actually want this to go up front because I think the Chad Gable head sculpt will probably be the toughest one to heat up I think the trash Corbin one would be the, the easiest to heat up so god this trash can is making it difficult and I don't want that all to get heated up because of the glue and then lastly we have this which I don't freaking know man heating up head sculpts can be kind of difficult sometimes just putting this here just like that and we got to get the white trusty hair dryer get the screwdriver out of the way and let's go ahead and heat this hoe up and get these head swaps going damn you i mean jesus christ in heaven man what is All right, guys, hopefully that is long enough here. We're going to find out. Let's go ahead and do, I guess, Trash Corbin's head sculpt first. All right, we got that off. Let's go ahead and get the Elite 83. Got that one off. I really can't stand the new, like, head sculpts because they all have, like, small AF neck pegs. Ugh. Yeah, I guess that I guess that works. We'll take a look at that at the end with the Trash Corbin. Now we got to get our Chad Gable head sculpt off. Got that on there, and you see how small that hole is? And we'll plop this on, and booyah. All right, we'll take a closer look at those two guys at the end. Really love that basic head sculpt for Chad Gable. It looks just like him. It's actually one of the better ones of the year, I think. But Trash Corbin and Shorty G Gable is done. We're going to put the crown back on the Trash Corbin head over here. You can't see it off camera, but you'll see it at the end. We'll see what all that looks like and how that turned out. Now I got this Jeff Hardy Dean Ambrose guy going. Not doing that. And then I get. I mean, we could put the... I need to honestly get another one of those basics. I guess if you wanted to combine the two. There you go. That's what That's what the, the manager TGIF Corbin would look like with his long hair. It would look dumb as shit. So see, now we're already on the last thing, which is why I thought it would be an appointment episode, but it's going to be longer than an appointment episode. We just don't have a shit ton of things to do, but we do have quite an upgrade to do to our Elite 83 Edge. So honestly, guys, I mean, I feel like it was it was necessary, but uh, let's go ahead and switch the torso first. We got to pop the head sculpt off right here. Now, one thing that I thought about doing is just like I don't really care if this torso gets effed up because I'm replacing it and I don't have like a need. There's not a single time where I've ever switched a Daniel Bryan torso and thought to myself, damn, really wish I had one of those Daniel Bryan torsos. So really, I don't, I'm not going to be too careful popping this torso or cracking this torso. So I'm just going to heat it up with the hairdryer and then try to crack it. I'm not going to go to the kitchen. I'm not going to heat it up. I'm not going to do the specific things that we usually do to switch a torso or crack a torso. So I'm just going to heat this hoe up with the hair dryer and we'll go from there and see how it goes. Biggest thing for me is going to make sure is going to be making sure that the shoulders don't get loose when we put those into the new torso and all of that stuff. But let's just go ahead and heat this hoe up and then we'll get into the cracksies. Then we got to get into the paintsies and all the other stuff. All right, guys, let's see how this goes again. If I F up the torso, not going to be that upset because I really don't feel like I need this torso. It's very, very hot, honestly. But uh, usually what I do is just go right behind the shoulder right here and then just kind of push a little bit. But see, technically, I usually go to the kitchen and I'll heat up water for five minutes, put this down in there for two or three minutes, let it soak in there, get all the glue cracked and all that, and then come back out. But I'm really, I, I 
really don't want to do that, but I may just do it off camera because it really, like I have plenty of, okay, so see it cracked a little. I did F, a, F it up a little bit right there, but I'll show you guys how to fix those stress fractures. I may have already done it in a video before, but... All right, actually, that cracked pretty easily right there. See, it, what's stupid is, is if this was a torso that I really, really just did not want to screw up, I swear to God, it would have been the like the hardest torso crack known to man. But it looks like it came out pretty easy right there. So there's the torso there. To get this bottom half, what I typically do is get the good old trusty knife. Not opening a package, but you got to do that. I don't know if we've ever done that on surgery before. It probably took 80 episodes. I have sharpened this, but typically what I do is I take the fatness of the knife right here. You got to be very careful. Definitely don't recommend this if you're underage. Also, wear gloves. Good Lord in heaven, wear gloves. But what I would do is I would take the fatness of the knife right here, and I'll shove it into this gap right here slowly and barely with any pressure whatsoever, like barely push. You know what? I don't feel confident doing this on camera. God in heaven, now, I'm, now it's making me want to put gloves on because you guys know when I break out the damn camera I always like seem to do something effed up all right so what I was saying is is typically I take the knife and I run it into this groove right here very slowly and surely like all right I've went ahead and heated it up just so I can be safe but I run it down in that gap this is what it ends up looking like you get it down in there like that again be very careful or you could get an adult to help you if you're underage but then I just kind of wiggle it back and forth like so, and then bam, just like that. See, it didn't do good because it, it popped one of the pegs, but that's how I get that off usually. Again, I don't really care for this torso, so it really doesn't matter that much. But here's what we're left with. We're left with legs. Just legs. All right, so the reason I contacted Ryan was to get some of these little square pieces right here because I don't have any. And I don't know where he even got these from. Like, that doesn't even fit on the Elite Torso. So I don't even know what this square is from. Is it from Basics? Like, the Basics kit come with that? All right, so these square pieces actually do not fit onto the Elite Torso. I guess these are from Basics. I thought they were from the Elites. Not a huge deal. I still appreciate Ryan to the most. But I don't typically crack Basics, so... I I guess I didn't know that, but it does look like all of these have the smaller little opening that will not work with an elite torso. So now I'm kind of worried that this is going to be loose on here. Hopefully not though. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and see. So typically what I'll do is you put the back portion on here like so, and then you put the top portion on there and then squeeze it together. All right, it actually feels quite tight actually, so not a big deal. All right guys, I don't remember the last segment that I did. I think I was trying to get this uh, torso on here, but what I figured out is that this torso, this lower torso piece is actually tight all around this, but I did have to play with it a little bit to close down this gap. You know, you don't really want any gappage. So I actually, you talk about surgery, Brad, I took my Dremel and I used this one specific tool to dig into the torso piece here on the lower part to make it where it would fit claspously, whatever the hell that is. And uh, I think we finally figured out here. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to hit my super glue right here and we're going to attach this to the lower part. Again, I think this is actually going to work out pretty good. The only thing I'm worried about is again the shoulders fitting into that upper torso piece, but we will have to see. We got the, I bought some new super glue the other day, so this should be relatively pretty good. I think, I think we're going to be cooking with peanut oil and everything like that so putting this here and then clasping this together i got some glue on my finger so that's just epic pushing that together really good again the torso seems pretty tight and everything hopefully that will hold up over time and we don't have any football issues all right so there's that you can kind of see what we're going for already it already looks pretty damn good to be honest with you all right so there's that next key piece is going to be the upper torso piece which is going to be this right here we're going to put the this on here like so and then we're going to take the arms right here and try to sit them in here it feels tight all right it feels pretty good i don't think that it's gonna get loose but to be honest with you you really i honestly i, I don't even know what the hell i'm saying let's just shut the hell up and try to get it going here all right so there's that it's leaning forward got all the good stuff now what we're gonna have to do now is i'm gonna raise this up a little and then i'm going to put my super glue right here in all the areas and then we're we're gonna see if we can get this going. I'm gonna put a little super glue actually on the arm rotation and maybe uh, that'll tighten that up a little bit once we shut up the, the torso there. All right, so here comes the back piece. God, this shit sucks, man. I hate doing this. F. 
I wish I had one of those things, those little clamp pieces that would just do this for like 24 hours and keep it on there so that it would remain tight. That's honestly, it's probably as good as it's gonna get. All right, so this is what we got right here. Looking pretty good. I like the way it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the head sculpt right here. Actually, no, I'm not. Right here, you guys will notice on the back, you see these little like stress fracture pieces right here, these little things right here. If you take a lighter and you just kind of like guide it over the cracks, like fan it over it. Don't like sit it on there, but if you fan it over it, the flame will actually make those things disappear, which is actually freaking insane. So you guys can see it's already gone. There's also one on the neck right here. Pretty crazy stuff, kind of witchcraftery. All right, I'm not gonna touch that for a second. All right, guys, now we're going to plop on this head sculpt, and bam, oh snap. You got a little something special going on there, young man. You got a lot of something special going on there, young man. That's a, what the hell was that? God damn it, son, don't ever raise your hand to me like that again, all right? I consider that a threat. Look at that right there. That's looking all right. All right, now key the paint time lapse. So here's everything we've done on action figure surgery today. I'd say pretty damn freaking idiotic dumb success today, Brad. I think we did it. I think we completed the challenge. What we wanted to do here today was very successful. This torso swap came out better than I thought. I thought, you know, Finn Balor torso. I thought originally I was just going to put one of my Finn Balor torsos on there, but I think using the one that Mattel used for Drew McIntyre back, or maybe it's is it Cesaro. It's Cesaro. I think it's Elite 33 Cesaro. That is the torso we used or Elite 23 regardless of the case. This looks amazing. I'm really happy with the way this came out. We did put on the black hand tape as well and we did also add the chrome to the boots or the shoes there underneath the kick pads and I think that turned out excellent. It's completely accurate now besides the back of the knee pads they need to be black and we also painted the black of the elbow pad, the black of the elbow pads, the back of the elbow pads black and it turned out fantastic. I'm really happy with this man. The only thing that sucks now is when we get the chase variant in here I'm going to have to do similar fix-ups to it which will be kind of annoying but you know that's what we do that's what surgery is all about and everything but this edge turned out super fantastic really happy with the way it came out and everything and I'm really happy with this surgery man that that makes me super happy the the ab crunch is nice the waist swivel is nice the arms are not loose this is uh this turned out better than I expected so that is really nice to see up next we have shorty g chad gable another huge shout out to my man ryan this came out perfectly exactly how I wanted it when we torso switched it originally I I do hate that the little waist pegs that I thought I was getting were not for elites. That kind of sucks. But nonetheless, he hooked us up with the Shorty G head sculpt, and it was all great. And maybe I can use those other things, and it's it's sick AF. Next up is Trash Corbin. You know, he's updated now. He looks like the trash that he is, the bald head, the, the crown and everything. He looks all right. He looks, you know, he, he's doing his thing over there. But overall, really, really successful day of surgery for the first day of the year. The first surgery of the year looks like it was a huge success, so this should be moving moving forward. We got to keep this momentum up for 2021. It's kind of ridiculous to even think that it is 2021, but that is pretty much it for surgery today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Not a ton of stuff we did, but the things we did do were monumental. This edge looks amazing. I'm really happy with the way it turned out and everything. I can't wait for the Ultimate Edition to come out, which is dropping very soon, but before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout out. So let's get, let's get into it. So this shout out is going to go to JWS Owner, and if you guys didn't know, he is a stop motion artist, and I 
think he even does work for ringside now. Like, that's how good this man is. He is a fantastic stop motion artist. He has amazing matches and stuff all over his page, guys. If you guys, you guys probably already know who he is if you're, if you know, if you guys are in the stop motion. But he come in a great show, dude. That Christmas look in the arena is awesome. And I love the ending, by the way. Very creative stuff. Keep it up and happy new year. Huge shout out to JWS for that. I really appreciate that, bro. And definitely go check out his channel, guys. Also, check out MDT Live episode 16. If you guys missed it, I would really, really appreciate it. Huge shout out to JWS for that comment. It meant a lot for him to comment on that, given his background and everything. I think he even does work, like I said, for Ringside and WWE for their stop motion. So that's pretty insane. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line. I've been